division by infinity a number divided by infinity or say the number is just one and uh, this is the infinity symbol so here i divide the number one by infinity it results zero how so to get answer for this question first we need to be aware of what is infinity so there are two types of infinity in mathematics positive infinity and negative infinity positive infinity refers to a very large positive infinite value and negative infinity refers to a very large negative infinite value here i'm going to divide the number one by one it results one again i divide the same number one by a different number that is two it results 0 0.5 so i divide the same number one by three it results 0 0.333 it keeps going i divide the number one by four I get 0 0.25. I divide the number 1 by 5, I get 0 0.2. Okay, I divide the number 1 by 10, I get 0 0.1. I divide the number 1 by 100, I'm getting 0 0.01. I divide the number 1 by 1000, it results 0 0.001. When I divide 1 by 10,000, it results 0 0.0001. When I divide 1 by 100,000, it results 0 0.00001. When I divide 1 by 1 million, it results 0 0.00001. Okay, here every time I divide the same number 1 by different value. So first time I divide 1 by 1, uh, it results 1. When I divide 1 by 2, it results 0 0.5. So what, what I'm doing, so I am uh, increasing the divisor. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 100,000. So when I keep increasing the value of the divisor, what's happening in the value of the fraction? It's getting decreased. 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.333, 0 0.25, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.01. So in this way, the value of the fraction is getting decreased. When I take some large values like 10,000 or 100,000 or 1 million, so what's happening in the value of the fraction? It's getting closer to zero. So when I take a very large value uh, as a divisor for one, so the value of the fraction is getting closer to zero. In this way, when I divide one by a very large infinite value, say infinity, what will be the result? The result is zero. So from the logic, what we have seen so far, so it's very clear, whenever I divide a number by a very large infinite value, say infinity, it results zero. Because in a fraction, uh, if the denominator is getting increased, the value of the fraction will be getting decreased. So when you take a very large infinite uh, value as denominator, the value of the fraction will be zero. So when I divide a number by infinity, it results zero. What if uh, I divide a number by negative infinity? Okay, let's uh, consider uh, that is uh, dividing 1 by negative 2. So here I uh, divide 1 by negative 2. So whenever I divide by a negative value, this negative can be taken for the complete fraction. So 1 over negative 2 can be written as negative 1 half. So the same way, I can write this 1 over negative infinity as negative 1 over infinity. So just now we have seen the value of 1 over infinity is 0. So it's going to be negative 0, but 0 is neither negative or not positive. So simply we can write it as 0. So from this we can conclude when we divide a number by a very large infinite positive value, that is positive infinity, or when we divide a number by a very large infinite negative value, that is negative infinity, always it results 0.